you guys added a humongous human being to the offensive line room. Uh, do you have any thoughts on Amarius joining this room? And I don't know if you know much about him. Yeah, had a great time. Um, went out with him to Carlo and Johnny's, me, Orlando, and uh, EB. Met with Mims and his family. What a fantastic addition. Obviously a huge man, but uh, a 21-year-old who's coming in, hungry to work, and I couldn't have been more pleased with the dinner we had. Um, really, really excited for him to get in this room and have, have the career he's going to have. What was your biggest takeaway from that dinner? Uh, his maturity um, and excitement and enthusiasm. Um, you know, I think, you know, as, as a guy who's 10 years older than Amarius now, um, I was a little bit nervous about how having to relate to guys that young, but, I mean, he was amazing. Um, obviously, he comes from a program that wins a lot, and really, he's just going to be an awesome addition to this room. we got the Cincinnati skyline at tackles, so, yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. going with that? Is yeah. that what we're going with? I think now, it was Brown County when it was just the Browns, but I think now that it's, uh, now that we have three at six, eight or above, we got to go with the Cincinnati Skyline. Plus, as their team sponsor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Smart man. Yeah. Um, obviously, we heard uh, Zach after the draft was over Saturday night saying the most important thing a rookie can do is ask questions. Of all the veterans be in their ear all the time. As an offensive lineman, what are the questions he needs to ask guys like you? Well, I think he's in a, such a unique spot in the fact that we have two guys who've done it at such a high level for a long time with his body type. I think, you know, I'm going to be able to answer some of the, the macro questions of navigating life as a professional athlete and an offensive lineman in this system. But when it comes down to the micro techniques and how to win at his position, a position that I've never played and certainly have never been 6'8". And I think that he has so many, he has two great resources of guys that have done it at that big uh, for a long time, so I think he's set up for for major success. How much steak was consumed in that meal? It was a a lot of seafood too. <laughs> Ruby's always does it right, though. I, I think Jeff would have been mad if we took him anywhere else. <laughs> you also added a tiny human to your life. Yes. In the last few weeks, what has dad life been like? How has he been navigating that? It's been amazing. Pretty good timing uh, for a baby to come, uh, Penny. And uh, my wife's been an all-star. Rachel and Penny have been the all-star crew over there holding it down. Um, you know, I feel, it feels weird leaving the house anytime, but um, obviously the PA negotiated a good schedule. I get to be home by 1130 and relieve Mama for the afternoon. You mentioned it's hard to leave the house. So it was that important to you to be at Amarius' dinner? It was, yeah, to, to welcome him and, uh, you know, make him feel comfortable and, and, and ready to go. It was a Friday, Friday night. I got yeah. to sneak out a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I I can't speak highly enough uh, about about this guy coming in. Really, really, I think going to be a slam dunk for this franchise for a long time. How important, and here's a question on the macro level, um, when you have a quarterback like Joe and understanding protecting him is, is job number one for this franchise, when you do add another very capable player in that, how important is that to the room just to have depth to have talented guys who are capable of doing the job that you need them to do. I think, you know, this is a, you know, I think a lot of NFL success comes down to offensive line attrition, and that's kind of hit us a few times over, since I've been here at least and, and even the year before um, uh, in the Super Bowl run. So to have as many good bodies as, as we can add to this room is very important. Um, you know, I'm sure he's the, – the, the great thing about – you know, his situation is, um, you know, we're not relying on a 21-year-old right away to come in and, and be the guy. I'm sure he will be and be ready to, but at some point he will play. And I think it's just a very, very comfortable situation for him to come into, you know, learning from two of the best and two of the biggest. And, you know, when it is time to, to jump out there, he'll be ready to go. So much is made, obviously, about his size for obvious reasons, but I would imagine being that big, there's also some challenges. Like, what are some of the things you have to deal with when you're that big? Well, I think that would be a better question for Trent or Orlando. Um, <laughs> you know, as probably at tackle, it, it can be a, a double-edged sword. I've, I've seen a lot of successful tackles that are 6'3", um, but now lately I've had a lot of giants. Uh, out there. I'm going to be looking kind of short on the field this year. I might need to throw a couple lifts in my in my shoes. But I think just leverage and, and using your length to your advantage and not letting guys get into your chest. It's kind of like a long boxer compared to like a Mike Tyson, keeping keeping people at bay. But, you know, I think that, you know, those those would be more of like the micro questions that he would have for, for uh, Trent or Orlando. 